Hey, this is Mike with Tactical Wood Gas, and I'm going to talk about debugging your 12 volt DC generator uh, and also some preventive maintenance things that you can do. Um, in order for an engine to run, one of the things that it needs is spark. So there's several things that can stop uh, spark. One is uh, the engine oil, uh, the which initially doesn't make sense, but there's a a uh, sensor in here that uh, determines whether or not there's uh, engine uh, oil pressure. Um, when it spins up and there's no engine oil pressure uh, from low oil, um, it uh, has a, a circuit on the side here that uh, kills the spark, and that protects your engine. Um, the other thing is you may have a bad spark plug, um, and also you may have the switch in the off position, so make sure you have the switch in the on position which would be down in this case. Yep. <laughs> it's labeled um, as off and on. So uh, let's say that you suspect uh, your spark um, because your engine won't start. One of the things that uh, makes this real easy is, is a, a spark plug tester. This is a unit that we bought down at the automotive uh, parts store. And what you do is you take, this is, you take the uh, uh, spark plug cable off. So it's got a little handle here. You pull that off and you can see the top of the spark plug. So this fits in between. And what you do is you take the little boot here with the female side and you stick it all the way on to where it, you can kind of hear it clip um, and you're solidly on the spark plug. And then you take uh, this end here and you plug in. So when we, uh, when we spin the engine, we should see it spark. And you can do that uh, either from a drill or from uh, pulling the cord. Okay, so I'm going to also do it by uh, hand and show you that it works both ways. So this is pulling the cord. So if you've got that uh, uh, little light going off, that means you've got uh, good spark going through the system. So don't leave it on there because you're sitting right next to the, uh, not really a muffler, it's more of a spark arrester, um, and you don't want it to melt against it or bounce around on it. So you, this is uh, only for uh, testing it without running it. It's che just checking to make sure you have um, have spark. And then, of course, make sure you put the spark plug uh, cable back onto the thing. So we've established that we have spark for the system. Um, one of the things we need to do is... is uh, we've established that the throttle is all the way on, mm -hmm. which is that direction. And you left. can see from... The label on here there you know that uh, um, this is a choke position here needs to be to the run position and the throttle needs to be all the way this direction yep okay so um, another thing that you need to make sure that you have is, is compression so um, we did some torture testing early on just to say what does it take to uh, to gum up an engine with tar and, and how do you recover from tar. So we um, basically didn't cool the gas, we let it get all gummy on there and, and then let the engine cool down so that it was you know, basically stuck with tar. Um, and in that case uh, we tried to run it and of course it didn't run. Um, and one of the troubleshooting things we did was we uh, grabbed the cable, the, uh, the pull start and we gave a slow pull and it um, and it was a nice smooth pull, which means one of the valves was stuck open. There was no compression. So you, you should pull it, it should be easy like this, and then get up to a hard point. And, and as, you, as you compress the air in the, uh, in the piston, um, you should feel that on pulling it. So now we know that we have spark. We know that we have compression. Um, with, uh, when you're running the system, we've got a different uh, video uh, that describes it and shows it, but uh, at, you know the gas coming through initially, and uh, you know seeing the smoke um, or the the wood gas rather come out here, uh, you know proves that you you're delivering fuel all the way into the system when when you're initially purging the air out of the system and you've got just and during during out. purging the system, it's very important to make sure that the fuel valve is all the way open to purge all the air out. Okay, so we've uh, basically we've got uh, everything here that we need to have in order to say, hey, this this should run. Um, now, one of the things that we do in order to uh, um, make sure that it continues to run is uh, 
you know, when we're doing the run, we'll keep an eye on the, uh, the, the tube coming in. If we see moisture uh, accumulating on the tube, um, that means that uh, there's uh, some risk uh, that there's some tar coming in. And that's not something to, uh, to freak out about, but it's something uh, that, you know, to, to keep an eye on. Um, so what we do with that is we'll take a, a carb cleaner and we've got, uh, um, this is where, uh, where the, you know, the air comes in. And you can either have this uh, open, are we open or closed? We're, oh, we're open, okay. Yeah. So what we can do is uh, uh, reach in there with, uh, shake, oh, we're just about out To make it shake it, yeah, shake it up to where the carburetor cleaner is actually flammable. Yeah, so then you spray uh, a certain amount in there. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll spin the engine uh, counterclockwise uh, to, to basically clean out any tar that's in there. And uh, if you're if you've done a long run, you could do that a, a couple of times. Um, if you're seeing a lot of moisture, you could do it four times just to make sure you've cleaned it out really well. And what you're doing is you're washing the valve stem off and dissolving the tube or the tar and pulling it all the way through and burning it out of the system. So at the uh, end of a run, uh, you know, a couple of squirts, a couple of runs like that will uh, clean up your valves so that uh, you won't be uh, debugging it later on. Uh, next run it'll be ready to go.